Welcome back. Our sponsors at Johnson & Johnson, Mackey Health, P Pacific Cataract and Laser Institute, and the Oregon Optometric Physicians Association are urging us to focus on eye health. And annual exams can even diagnose uh, diseases like diabetes. So this morning, we are joined by Dr. Laura Armstrong from Alberta Eye Care and Eye Strong to learn more. Dr. Armstrong, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm already impressed. We're besties right now. <laughs> she knew my my eye care, like my glasses prescriptions just <laughs> off of looking at me. So y'all need to pay attention. She is the pro. Okay. <laughs> so doctor, tell us why are eye exams? so important. Yeah, eye exams are really important for different reasons for different groups of people. So we're focusing on diabetes this month. So for diabetics in particular, we are really looking for changes in their eye due to diabetic retinopathy. Those things can absolutely be monitored and treated, but we need to find them early so we can take care of those problems. And then for pediatrics, for kids, you know, so much of their learning happens through their eyes. So if they're not seeing properly, they don't know to complain because they haven't compared their vision. Yes. And that's something we really need to find early. Oh my goodness, that brings me to my next question, even about kids. What age is a, a good age to start those eye exams? I did it when I was in elementary school yeah. and we knew that I needed glasses then. My mom thought I just forgot my ABCs. And she was like, hold on doctor, <laughs> maybe she forgot. And I was like, no mom, I can't see. Yeah. So. You'll be surprised to hear this, but we really recommend comprehensive eye exams at ages one, three, and five. Wow. And then every year during school ages and after that. And the reason is that we're looking for different problems at different ages. And as you know, if you bring in a one-year-old, we're not going to be doing the same exam that we do for an adult. <laughs> yes, so yes. So as they're aging, we actually get different amounts of information. We can make them feel more comfortable so that we're able to do things as we need to. But every child should really have a dilated exam by the time they're five so that we can find some of those problems with their visual system if they exist. That makes so much sense because it also probably gives you like a baseline also. Absolutely gives us a baseline and one of the most important things about having that baseline is that we're able to detect problems so much earlier. Mm. If it's something that we see a patient for the first time, we can obviously look for a lot of issues with their eye health, but if we're able to see that patient year over year, we then know what is normal for that patient yes. and can really find problems much sooner. That's perfect. Now, does our blood blood sugar affect our eye health care? Yeah, so kind of going back to that diabetes conversation, yeah. there are so many things that happen with diabetes and the eye, and diabetes can cause swelling of different parts of the eye. The lens of the eye can swell, causing you to become more nearsighted, but only while that swelling occurs. Yeah. And so finding those things early and getting on top of them, we can really help your eyes to not have long-term problems. Wow, do you have any patients with you know problems related to diabetes that you've seen, maybe even caught because of those exams? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Unfortunately, we have lots of people who come in going, I just need to get new glasses and... Um, dun, dun, dun. And, <laughs> and, you know, when it comes to problems with the front of the eye, people come in uncomfortable. The front of the eye have so many pain receptors, so you yes. know something's wrong if it's in the front of your eye. In the back of your eye, there aren't pain receptors, so people will sometimes notice problems with blurry vision, but oftentimes they'll just think, well, I just need to update my glasses. So they come in for an exam to update their glasses and lo and behold, they have some other problems that we discover along the way. Wow, and what about those untreated symptoms? Because uh, like you said, sometimes we just think it's blurry. Oh, I'll get to it when I can. But can sometimes those lead to emergency, you know, care visits? Absolutely, absolutely. And that's one of those reasons that it is so important to just get that annual eye exam so that we can look for those problems and catch them before you start having symptoms. Yeah, and I heard that one of the exams that you guys do can catch 270 diseases or symptoms that you might have opposed to any other kind of exam that can't do that. How is that happening? Yeah, so you can think about the idea behind the difference between like a screening and a comprehensive visit. Mm -hmm. If we're doing a screening, a screening that we're all really used to doing is having your temperature checked, yes. right? We're getting one piece of information and it gives us great information, but it doesn't give us a whole story. When we do a comprehensive visit, we look at each component of the eye and we're looking for 270 different diseases wow. throughout that system to make sure every structure is really healthy and operating at its best so that you can do what you do. Oh my gosh, that was 
kind of going to be my next question, the difference between screening and comprehensive exams. Yeah, but, I it mean, really makes such a huge difference to have that comprehensive checkup. And we really know every structure is healthy. There is nothing else that's affecting your vision, especially down the road that could catch up with you. So what can we do in November? Because it is uh, Diabetes Awareness Month yeah. and we've been talking about getting your eye exams and, and all that. So what can we do? Uh, do we need insurance? How can we help everybody out there? Yeah, so if you have something like diabetes and you're looking to you know, get your annual eye exam, that can be billed through your medical insurance. If you're just coming in for an annual exam and we just need to check up on things, that can get billed through your vision insurance. If you are underinsured or don't have any insurance, you can certainly visit the Oregon Foundation of Vision Awareness mm -hmm. and register on that website. Um, but I think in general, eye exams are also a really affordable way for us to be doing preventative care. Yes. So whether or not you have insurance, it's really important to schedule that visit. Yes, don't want to let it get out of hand, I can tell you. Yeah. <laughs> well, Dr. Armstrong, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you for having Anytime me. Anytime you want to come back, I, I, I'm, no, I'm about to switch my doctor over to Dr. Armstrong. <laughs> she knew exactly when she sat down, she's like, minus seven, minus eight. <laughs> Girl, okay, <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, and you have a very specific reason why you need your annual eye exams, because we need to be checking to make sure that that eye that has grown a little bit longer is really healthy. I'll meet you at your office after this interview. <laughs> okay, <laughs> huge thank you to our sponsors at Pacific uh, Cataract and Laser Institute, the Oregon Optometric Physicians Association, uh, all of our sponsors, thank you so, so much. You see them all right there.